Well, he was a man who could pull his own weight, and a lot more than that. Montreal is mourning the loss of a huge presence, a strong man who was known as the Great Antonio. Matthew Pace reports. They came to see a giant with a gentle heart, a strong man who could sing a lullaby. He loved the world, says this man. He loved life. You judge a man by his heart, his character, and he had a great character. He was a character right out of a myth. As with all myths, the facts, well, they don't really matter. His name was Anton Berachevich. Sometimes he said he was born in Yugoslavia, other times Italy. He said he came to Canada sometime in the 1940s, that he was the world's strongest man. This much is true, he was strong. The great Antonio stood six foot four, weighed more than 400 pounds. He could wrestle five men, pull a train or a bus. He pulled four of them into the Guinness Book of World Records. He appeared on television and in movies, but he ended up a poor man. The great Antonio died of a heart attack just before his 78th birthday. There's so many different stories. Some people didn't know he was Italian, he was Yugoslav. But one thing is for sure is that he, he's touched a lot of people. Serge Blain was one of them. The great Antonio used to come into his store to have rings braided into his dreadlocks. In the neighborhood, you have, let's say, a landmark, and that landmark is gone. The great Antonio called this his office. You could find him here almost any day of the week, entertaining people with his stories. He even proposed once to Henriette Legault. Of course he wasn't serious, she says. That's just the kind of man he was. Yeah, look there, and he's not there anymore. We won't see him there anymore on this bench. The bench where he used to sit is empty now, except for flowers. Flowers and memories of a man who lived life large. Matthew Pace, CBC News, Montreal.